Hey guys, Kevin here. Now this year we have seen a lot of news and a lot of YouTube videos from YouTubers who are talking about the ad apocalypse, as they called it. A lot of people have been seeing their earnings go down and there's been a lot of YouTubers actually move to other platforms or just give up YouTube altogether because of it. So this really affects, well it actually affects everyone, really. But I think the um, you know particular type of YouTubers particular type of content, you know, if there's certain videos that can't be monetized, perhaps videos with swearing or, you know, content that advertisers don't consider advertiser friendly, then those kind of YouTubers have been affected. So we've seen a lot of gamers to, uh, move towards Twitch, but we've seen a lot of other gamers uh, and a lot of other YouTubers as well just kind of try to change their whole business plan and maybe not rely on YouTube as much. There was a YouTuber that I really like, Eli, the computer guy, and you know, he's got like a channel with 100,000 subscribers. He's got another one with 900,000 subscribers, which you would think the guy's making a lot of money, but he has actually stopped, you know, uploading videos to YouTube because he's, he's not making enough money. So it is quite a serious thing, um, but I think, you know, I think it does make sense to try and diversify the income that you make from YouTube. Now, I don't think anyone should go into YouTube thinking that they're going to make millions. For me, this is something that I just really enjoy. I really do enjoy making videos, and if I make a little bit of money, then it's a bonus. AdSense, you know, it is not exactly the best, you know, source of income. You will make about, I think it's 55% of whatever income you generate through your videos, but don't expect to make a lot of money. So, for Rise Forums, um, and I don't know what, I don't believe I'm allowed to show you screens. I might be wrong on this. But you know what Google's like as far as showing personal information, as far as closing accounts and all that. But I will say in Rise Forums, you know, I, I, this channel, it, it actually performs quite well for the amount of views, etc. I get. But, you know, I'm talking like $10, $15 that makes a month. Very, very little. But my main channel is my technology channel. My main channel is the one where I focus on gadgets and, you know, cameras and videos, uh, photography, gaming and that kind of thing. I really do love uploading videos to my YouTube channel. As I said, it is a labour of love. And again, I don't want to show you my personal account and talk about, uh, you know, show you any sense of information. I don't want to get any trouble. But I, I normally make about $150, $160 a month. It's not a lot of money, uh, especially when you consider over the last few years, I have spent thousands upon thousands of pounds on equipment. But it's something I enjoy. So I, I'm not I'm not grumbling per se. What this video is about is really just trying to highlight that yes, you can generate money through AdSense. This is how people will make money. This, you know, this is how most people make money through YouTube. But there's other ways to make money as well. YouTube is a platform, so you know, just by raising your your profile and you know getting your name out there, you can open up a lot of different things. You can promote yourself online, your website, your social media accounts and things like that. And you know, through that, once you become an influencer, you can make money in different ways. As a YouTuber, there are, are more opportunities available to you when you reach a certain level. For example, there are websites like Famebit, and once you reach 5,000 subscribers, then companies will pay you to review products or sponsored videos and things like that. So, you know, at the start of your video, you could say this video was sponsored by blah, blah, blah. Check them out. They've got a new blah, blah. yada, yada, yada. And then... Um, you know, you'd maybe get $50, $100 or, you know, whatever. Uh, and it really does depend on how much um, reach you've got on your channel, how many viewers you've got, how many subscribers you've got. Now, my channel's, you know, it's approaching the 2,000 subscribers mark. So, you know, really six months to a year before I start getting any serious offers from companies. But I am starting to be approached by technology companies for reviews because I do a lot of reviews in my company, uh, on my channel. So... That's a good thing for me because normally I am the person just spending money, you know, this new webcam that I'm recording on just now, you know, um, that cost me a lot of money. Um, I've got other things, other equipment, uh, GoPro cameras, other cameras, thousands of pounds worth of equipment. Um, and you need to pay for it out of your pocket. But really, when you get to a certain level, then companies are more willing to work with you. Now, I have been making money through another way. I have, um, you know... If you look at any one of my videos, we'll take this one for example, and I'll pause that. I don't want to show that there. Pause, pause. So if you look here and you'll see 
that. I've got links to Amazon. And in other videos, I have, you know, put a link to, for example, Gearbest. Now, I'm not making a huge amount of money. Like, for example, with Gearbest, Gearbest, I was probably making, I don't know, you know, I probably made like $20, $30 in commissions. It's not a lot of money. But if you're linking to the website and talking about the website anyway, why not just include an affiliate link? So through Amazon, and again, I'm not going to show you my actual um, details at the top of my account. I don't know what the rules are, but I have been making a little bit of money. This is just what I've made so far. And this is just by including links, you know, underneath my videos. And it is quite interesting to see. You can see here that it is going up and I am making, it's not a huge amount of money, you know, $28 that month, $27, $25, you know, I'm, I'm in the $25 to $30 mark over the last few months. It is not a huge amount of money. It certainly is not a huge amount of money, but that is on top of the money that I'm making through AdSense. And you have to remember that with YouTube or with any kind of business like that, growth can be exponential. So it might only be $28 or $30 a month just now, but maybe a year down the line when I'm making $300 or $400 on AdSense, I could be making $100 through uh, Amazon. So now I've, you know, I've got 25% of my earnings outside of AdSense. And there's other ways you can make money, as I said, paid reviews. Um, but really, if you've got that description area in YouTube, use it. Use it to try and top up your earnings. And, you know, that obviously this is quite, for my type of channel, with a technology channel, when I'm actually spending money on products and then explaining people how it works. You know, I do have a passion for this. I do enjoy it. But just by including a link to those products, I can make a little commission. And... It's not much. It really isn't much. It's not a lot of money. But in the grand scale of things, when you total it all up, you know, it increased my earnings. So say my $150, $160 a month to close to $200 a month. And that's, you know, that's, that's quite a good, that's quite a good jump. And as I said, I'm not making a lot of money just now, but try and think about this, you know, as your growth um, continues, as your, your, your channel grows that little bit of income all of a sudden becomes quite significant. It will come a point where it will be significant. And, you know, a lot of people are just relying on YouTube, um, you know, to provide money through AdSense. They're just relying on the ads that are displaying either before a video, after a video, or, you know, you can set ads during a video as well. But really, you should be doing that, but you should also be trying to diversify. Perhaps you can use it to promote a business, promote your own services, promote your website, promote anything else. I'm not saying you should bombard people with advertisements, but as your channel grows, if you continue to produce good content, then opportunities should arise. And, you know, take take this channel, for example. Take, um, take Rise Forums, for example. You know, this is a small channel, um, and it's not my priority right now. I'll be honest with you guys, it isn't a priority. My Rise Forums channel is something I really enjoy doing. I love talking to you guys. I love talking about business, WordPress, websites. But, you know, because I've been fo focusing more of my attention on my technology channel, it's kind of taken a back seat a little bit. So, you know, whilst that is in the back seat, when this channel gets to a certain stage, you know, it will open up more opportunities to me. And this is what it's all about, guys diversify what you're doing, you know, on YouTube. Don't just rely on AdSense. Try and see what other opportunities are out there. Some of it will work. Some of it won't. You might spend time promoting websites and it just doesn't work. But really, it's about not trying to put all your eggs in one basket. And don't think about this. You know, there are, you know, you're not going to be the next, Pew well, most people aren't going to be the next PewDiePie or they're not going to be hugely successful. But if you enjoy what you're doing, why not make a little bit extra money on the side? That's really what it's about. And But I am looking at all of these things. As, as, as much as I love producing videos and uploading to YouTube and, you know, interacting with people that watch my videos and comment and all that, it is important to try and make a little bit of money as well to fund all of this, you know, to make it worthwhile. At the end of the day, if I wasn't making any money at all, I'd probably have to reconsider what I was doing. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope at the very least I've given you guys some food for thought. So if you've got a YouTube channel or you're thinking about having a, a YouTube channel, remember that it's not just YouTube that can make you money. It's not just AdSense earnings. You can make money in different ways. You can diversify your income with things like Amazon with, you know, there's other affiliate programs out there. You can approach advertisers uh, and try and work with them too. 
You know, there might be certain services like Famebit that say that you need 5,000 subscribers, but there's nothing stopping you just contacting a company directly and say, hey, you know, I've got a small but growing channel. Let's work together. Let's partner from the, you know, from the beginning and let's develop something that, you know, will benefit both our parties in the long term. And, you know, the harder you work, you should hopefully become more successful. Please do leave a comment below, guys. I do love hearing comments from you, uh, from everyone who watches my videos. And I'll speak to you all soon. Take care.